I'm James Lincoln, a physics teacher, and I'm going to tell you about some physics experiments that you can do at home. One experiment I like to do is to take very cold water and very hot water and drop into each a small drop of food coloring. And you can see the results as they mix. The faster mixing hot water demonstrates that the molecules are moving much more quickly with higher temperature. Here's another experiment you can try. Go to the kitchen and get a coffee filter and drop it from a measured height. The coffee filter will reach terminal velocity almost instantly and so it will fall at a constant speed. Measure that speed. Then add another coffee filter and see how that affects the results. Graph and determine the slope of your graph. Go to the computer room and get a CD and go to the garage and get a flashlight and shine the flashlight on that CD. You'll notice it breaks up the light into its component colors. That's called diffraction. The surface of a CD is coated with a whole bunch of tiny little lines and those lines act as a diffraction grating. You can do this at home and you can actually measure the wavelength of light if you know the spacing between the lines or if you know the wavelength of light, you can measure the spacing between the lines using the diffraction formula. Here's one of my favorite experiments. Raid the pantry for some baking powder and fill a small container with it. It should look like the surface of the moon. Simulate a meteor impact by dropping a marble from various heights. The height will determine the kinetic energy of the marble. When it hits the baking powder, it will make an impact crater. Based on the height, the impact crater's diameter will be different. Measure the diameter and see if you can work backwards to predict how far the marble fell from. Good luck with these experiments, and I'll see you next time.